Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. I am actually filming this intro on December 13th, so this video is going up like mid-December, and the content in this vlog is actually from October. Um, this is my opening night vlog, Days in My Life. This vlog specifically just kept getting pushed back and pushed back, but I still wanted to post it because opening night is such a special night, and we have such fun memories. Also the day after I vlogged me going on a job interview for nursing, so I wanted you guys to see that and get that update. Also, my first clip of the vlog, like explaining what the vlog was gonna be, talking about game day, this and that, got deleted. So this is my opening night game day vlog for Chris Girls, plus the day after some nursing updates, job interview, days in my life. The next clip is gonna be me getting ready to go to the FedEx forum for game day after I like had the first part of my day just waking up and getting things ready for game day. Almost done curling my hair and then I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. What I usually do is just like my base face makeup and a little bit of mascara and then I do the rest after court rehearsal. And then I need to finish packing my bags. Oh, a little update with nursing stuff. Y'all, I've tried to work two times in the past several days. And the first time I couldn't even sign up because they were already fully staffed because our census of babies went way down. It was super high for a while and now it's pretty low, which feels really rare. <laughs> um, and then the other night I signed up and they were like, yeah, you got the last spot. So I was like, great, need to make some money. And then the PCC texted me at 11.30 and was like, I just like rechecked the numbers and now I'm actually having to cancel people. That is happening. So yeah, now I've honestly been like exploring different clinic jobs and stuff, maybe like a part-time or like six to two clinic shift or something um, while I keep my PRN at my current hospital. So, you know, just thinking ahead because I'm going to be turning 26 in March, so I'm like, what the heck am I going to do about insurance? Anyway, I think I need to recurl this piece. All right, y'all, now I'm packing up my stuff. Here's my little makeup bag. Got that pretty organized. Brushes in there. Another eyeshadow palette, some eyelashes. All right, you guys. I feel like I'm forgetting something because one of the sides is so squished and the other one's like empty. Oh, I think I have everything I need. Oh, whatever, okay. Got my suitcase packed up. All right, you guys, got all my stuff packed up. Now let's go, Kaylee and Reagan are waiting for me downstairs. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Been gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast and you know what you want. <laughs> you forgot you were shooting. On the court, for court rehearsal. <laughs> Yes, ladies. <laughs> twenty four seconds, yeah, you better not stop. You got twenty four seconds, can you beat the shot? Like trying a new energy drink. Like <laughs> Why are you so red? <laughs> Trying this new energy drink. It's delicious. Reagan's gonna give it a taste test. What flavor is I don't even know what flavor this is. It's called Gorgie. But what's the flavor? Oh, sparkling paradise punch. It really does taste like punch. You know what? Punch. Ooh, it's got like a little sprite aftertaste. Sprite. It took you a long time to see if you liked it or not. I don't like sparkling. Delish.
guys. It is the next day. Today's Thursday. I ended up not really feeling much at the game yesterday just because it was pretty busy. And then like during halftime, we had an outfit change. So we changed our outfits and then we also had to go over the dance because it was second half. And there just really like was not much time to film. And then also the fact that we ended up losing the game just kind of changes the vibe after the game like instead of staying and getting pictures and getting this and that it just kind of was more like everyone just kind of goes home it just wasn't as much of the filming vibe <laughs> but it was still so much fun it went well our dance went well yeah it was really fun it felt so good to be back i'm so pumped for the season but i wanted to give you guys an update because of what i did this morning i had an interview for a nursing job which is very exciting this happened very last minute i think i mentioned something about this kind of earlier in this vlog but i don't know lately i've just been kind of led to like think about a more substantial structured job and just like explore different options because i do want to stay prn for sure at um the hospital that i'm working at i still want to have at least those two shifts a month of working there in the nicu with the babies and have that connection and opening still there with that hospital and in that unit i still want to keep that but thinking about being 26 soon and i don't really want to have like crappy independent insurance for long and i don't know just thinking about more substantial stuff for my future and i don't know i kind of been like craving a little bit more of structure and a routine so yeah i just was kind of exploring and then there was a dermatology clinic that posted they were expanding and hiring different positions including RN so I was like why not just email my resume and just kind of see so I did and right away they're like yeah when you can you come in for an interview so so it's all very fast and last minute um so I went in this morning to interview it went well it was pretty quick and straightforward and to the point I don't know I definitely don't have like any surgical experience obviously because this would be kind of like I would be assisting an MD um in different skin surgeries and things like that they also were very chill and understanding about grizzlies which was a huge relief because sometimes people just don't really like get it and they were just so cool from the get-go like what time your practice is like when do you need to be at your games they're like so yesterday what time did you need to be there so i don't know we'll see i feel like it just comes down to if the other candidates have surgical experience because i obviously don't have any so i'm just gonna pray that God puts me where I'm supposed to be, which I know he will. So whatever is meant to be will be. But yeah, that's a fun little update. It just kind of last minute happened. But I thought you guys would be interested. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about that. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm about to go inside and eat. I'm so hungry. I got myself some Chick-fil-A. It was just one of those days that I needed it. Some days you're just like, I need Chick-fil-A right now. And yeah, I got my spicy deluxe sandwich with some fries and I'm about to go eat that and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on and go ahead and give my update on this situation since it is like several months later now. So I did hear back from a dermatology clinic and I did not get the position, but it's one of those things that you look back and you're actually very thankful, you know? Like I said in the clip, it just all kind of happened last minute. But yeah, I just don't think it was meant to be for multiple reasons. Also thinking back, I'm like, I honestly don't even really like skin stuff, so what was i thinking i just don't think that would have been a good combo me and skin stuff i just i don't know honestly like to be honest there's not really much interest there and i think honestly just like some interview tips that i kind of learned that i want to share with you guys some things that i think it had to do with obviously number one like the fact that i didn't have any surgical experience if they had other candidates that did have surgical experience like that's a huge part also at this time when i did the interview i don't think i was wanting full-time or like I think I said that I would mostly be wanting part-time and they were looking for full-time so that was another thing that like wasn't quite aligned and then also oh they asked me about my pay <laughs> and I kind of panicked I didn't really think this one through and I don't think I answered it very well kind of danced around the question I was like oh you know like something around what I'm getting paid now but I'm willing to be flexible and they were like prying an exact number out of me and so I'm not gonna just refused to answer and I did say number and I just didn't think to give a range like what you should do is give a range and say you're open to negotiation this and that and I just kind of panicked in the moment and just like said a number which I think honestly is way higher 
than what they pay at this specific clinic, especially because I don't even know. I think sometimes not even an RN has that position, if I'm right. I might be wrong. So I think that they were not looking to pay that much either. I think that was another thing. So just little things, but now I know how to answer that question in a better way. You want to say a range, say you're open to negotiation, this and that, but it's okay. It's all going to work out how it's supposed to be. And yeah, that's the update on that. And I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.